So you might be lucky enough to live in a house with some period features and very often these need a little bit of TLC. Period features might include some decorative cornice like this beauty or architraves and skirting. And there's a couple of different ways of approaching it. Why don't you come up here and I'll show you the first one. So we've got peel away if you're going to strip all the paint off, which I didn't need to use because my paint came off really easily in this corner and I'm keeping the paint on in the rest of the room. But if you're going to strip all the paint off your cornice, this is the stuff to use. We need lots of clean water and cloths and non-abrasive scrubbers. We need some light disinfectant. We've got our soft filler. We've got a chisel, a sharp chisel or tool to sort of get in between the grooves. Uh, a brush just to brush the dust away and some sandpaper. So if you're really lucky and your cornice is in good condition, you simply need to give it a really good clean before painting it so the paint has a key. So a light disinfectant, clean water, lots of clean water, and just give it a wipe. You might want to wipe over with a sugar soap solution as well. That means you get a really good fix with the paint onto the surface. Now, you might not be so lucky and your decorative cornice could have a little bit of damage. There are professional companies that'll come in and fix it, but sometimes it's quite easy. What happens when the cornice splits and cracks is it causes a little bit of a bulge, which when you paint, paint over it doesn't look very attractive. So I am taking back just a little bit of the cracked paint, it gets really quite hard and it can be quite thick, the layers of paint over, it might be a hundred years. So I'll take those away and then I'll put some soft filler and just fill here. And what you get is then a much smoother finish so you can't see the cracks when you're standing down on the floor. The home decorator can use a pre-prepared soft filler because you're only filling a very, very tiny crack really. So using a flat blade and a soft filler, you simply put a little bit of the soft filler on the blade and spread it lightly and evenly over the crack in the cornice and then let it dry and give it a sand. So what happens over years with people painting and sometimes over skimming the ceiling is you lose all those beautiful sharp edges from a decorative cornice but you can get them back even if you're not stripping all the paint off especially at this front edge. It's nice to have the right angle between the ceiling and the front edge of the cornice. So use a sharp chisel, a sharp blade and a steady hand and then just run the blade along the front so you get that nice sharp edge again. Like me, you might choose to leave the cornies completely exposed for a little bit of a distressed look. I like this. And once you've repaired the crack sections, sanded and filled, then give it all a good clean and then you're ready to paint. In terms of paint, the choice is yours. You could go dark or light, you could go shiny or matte. Matte's probably a more contemporary finish for most people. And I just use a basic wall emulsion, which is quite cost effective as well. So let's go and take a look at a cornice which is perfect and finished. Now here we are looking at a cornice which is fully restored and lovingly painted and it looks spectacular. You can see all the sharp edges and the detail and the clean lines which gets lost over hundreds of years of painting. It's why people go to the effort of taking that paint away and sanding and finishing and you can really see why all that effort is worth it.